This is my homemade two-axis gyro-stabilized camera gimbal. It's made for use on a crane arm or just handheld. It uses free-fly servos with an external one-turn potentiometer. It's constructed from stock aluminum and uses ball bearings on all axes and has 5 to 1 gear reduction ratios. I'm using the KK2 board with open aero firmware for gyro stabilization. A thanks goes out to Happy Sundays for that firmware. It's powered by a 15 amp BEC that pulls from a 3 cell lipo. The red dot is a laser pointer connected to the non-stabilized portion of the mount. You can see the movement that is being cancelled out. This is basically a clone of the Freefly Systems gimbal, but due to its aluminum construction, it's a wee bit too heavy for helicopters. Later on, I will put this on a jib arm and see how it works for that application. I also plan on taking it skiing and seeing how it compares to a glide cam. The real limiting factor for the servo-controlled gimbals is timing. By the time the motor has received the signal from the controller and sped up, the movement has already transferred into the stabilized part of the gimbal. The faster the motor can move the gimbal, the smoother the video will be. Super amazing gimbals, such as the Cineflex, use super fast motors with not much gearing. This is how they are able to achieve such smooth stabilization even when the camera is zoomed in a lot. Now, the laser is mounted to the stabilized camera platform. As I move the mount quickly, you can see the laser dot move up and down before the servo starts to speed up. This was shot at 240 frames a second. Expect more test videos from this gimbal in the future, so don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, bye. Oh, and Freefly Systems, if you happen to see this video, feel free to donate a Radian.